is Joseph Coco coming to you from Mocha Fest 2014. I'm, I'm sorry, 14. I'm here on behalf of Becca Hilburn. Uh, her art process blog, Keep on Trucking Nata Soup. If you could introduce yourself, Antonio. I'm Antonio Romero of Artichoke Truck Presents here in Mocha. All right, and what's bringing you to Mocha this year? Well, it's a mix of stuff. We have some old material and some new material that we're selling. The um, This is collage work that I've made from the original artwork in my comics. Okay. When I'm putting the pages together, I tend to um, come up with my layouts first, and then I'll illustrate uh, individual panels or specific elements of a panel separately. So it's, I sort of treat it like cell animation, where the background will be on one sheet of paper, and then I'll do the foreground on another. So I'm allowed to manipulate the designs of the page as I'm putting them together. And having all these random pieces of artwork has led me to start creating collages. And um, the process for that has been very smooth and cathartic. And very easy going, really random, see how things come together. And I'm now packaging the uh, collage work into an art zine that I'm going to be planning to publish
are the majority of your fans uh, online or do they usually find you at conventions? I'd say the majority I think I see at conventions, but I think there really hasn't been very much overlap between the people that go to my site online and the people that see me here. Right. At least as far as I can tell. So right now I'm trying to put material everywhere. Because you know the people that are seeing me online aren't at the shows. Yeah, that makes so, sense. I'm not so there's, there's definitely some benefit in coming to Mocha Fest if, oh, if you have a, yeah. an online presence. Yep. Okay. Um, is there anything in particular you wanted to mention? Uh, I know you said this is a new uh, printing of uh, sketches and screens. Yes. Yeah, I um, took the opportunity when the first run sold out to do a second edition. Okay. And I was, this allowed me to really include a lot of the earlier comics that led me to self-publishing, as well as some new shorts that I've developed uh, to help sell some new concepts that I've had. Right. And um, I, I'm familiar with your work. I know uh, it, it has a lot of action sequences in it, but it's certainly uh, not like a traditional mainstream superhero-y sort of vibe to it. Uh, yes. Can you can you mention some of your inspirations and, and how you feel about uh, having a strong focus on action and maybe taking some of the better components of mainstream? without necessarily picking up all the tropes that you would find in a mainstream comic. Well, you know, a lot of the comics that I read growing up that were published by mainstream uh, publishers were fairly alternative back then. Okay. So I grew up reading Sandman. I grew up reading uh, Elektra. Um, so this is what you know when yeah. things have changed, but and you're, you're really still happy with where things were. Well, you know, I appreciate the history of this and everything came before. Thanks, Antonio. Thank